The case is compelling. The evidence is indisputable. The moment is urgent. Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas must be impeached. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, and I look forward to your questions. Thank you for your testimony, Mr. Thompson. Thank you, Member Thompson. You're recognized. Thank you very much. Uh, Chairman Cole, Ranking Member McGovern, I'm appearing before you today in strong opposition to HRES 863, which was reported out of the Committee of Homeland Security last week on a party line vote. Republicans partisans rush to consider the resolution is a betrayal of the committee's bipartisan record since it was established in the wake of 9-11. Republican members of Congress sworn to support and defend the Constitution are rejecting the framers' clear intent over two centuries of precedent in favor of a sham impeachment of Secretary of Homeland Security Alejandro Mayorkas. Republicans have failed to make a constitutionally viable case for impeachment. Neither of the impeachment charges reported by the committee are high crime and misdemeanor under Article II of the Constitution. No serious person believes they are. Maladministration, or what committee Republicans are falsely calling refusal to follow the law, was deliberately rejected by the framer as a grounds for impeachment. Policy disputes are settled in the court system, not through impeachment. Indeed, the policy disputes Republicans list in their articles have already been addressed by the courts and decided in the Biden administration's favor, or they are currently working their way through the system. Constitutional experts have told the committee that for the breach of public trust to rise to something close to a high crime and misdemeanor, it will require conduct intended to serve an official's own benefit or the benefit of a foreign power. No serious person can allege that Secretary Mayorkas actions meet the standard for breach of public trust. Republicans have ignored the facts and misrepresented the law to justify their scheme. But the law is clear, and so is Secretary's record. Secretary Mayorkas has leveraged all the authorities at his disposal while maximizing the resources provided by Congress to secure the border. He's removed record levels of migrants from the U.S., detained more people than Congress has provided funding for, and prevented record levels of fentanyl from entering our communities. But this sham impeachment effort isn't really about border security. It's about Republican politics and subversion of the Constitution. In testimony before the committee, in letters and in op-eds published in major newspapers, bipartisan constitutional law and impeachment experts agree the secretary has not committed an impeachable offense. Secretary Mayorkas has faithfully implemented the administration's border policies consistent with the funding Congress has provided. At every opportunity, Republicans have refused to provide resources to the Department of Homeland Security. If House Republicans were serious about improving conditions along the border, they would provide the department the funding necessary to do so. They have not. If House Republicans were serious about improving conditions at the border, they would negotiate border security legislation with the White House and the Senate. They have not. The stream mega Republicans who are running the House of Representatives don't want solutions. They want a political issue. House Republicans take their marching orders from Donald Trump, and he has directed them to reject a bipartisan border bill. This sham impeachment is an attempt by House Republicans to distort the Constitution and the Secretary's record to cover up their inability and unwillingness to work with Democrats to strengthen border security. Former Republican Secretary of Homeland Security Michael Chertoff recently cautioned against impeaching Secretary Mayorkas and urged bipartisan legislative action. He said, quote, our nation is at its best when our leaders work together to confront the seemingly inextractable. The situation of our border and our national security demands such bipartisan collaboration. Despite our different parties, I know Mr. Mayorkas to be a fair and honest dedicated to
to the safety and security of the U.S. He's represented DHS in the country and to both parties in Congress with integrity, unquote. That is the kind of bipartisanship we need to solve border challenges and strengthen our immigration system. Unfortunately, this sham impeachment has been nothing but partisan. During consideration in the Homeland Security Committee last week, Republicans improperly shut down the marker and blocked Democrats from offering amendments to the resolution. Extreme mega Republicans couldn't bear to consider amendments to their poorly drafted articles of impeachment before silencing Democrats who attempted to inject a dose of reality into the proceedings. They even blocked Democrats from including material for the markup record of, on five occasions. The truth is Republicans' actions show they don't have faith in their own case against the Secretary. That's why they lack the courage of their convictions to see their markup to the end. This nonsense has to stop, and it should stop here. Republicans need to start doing the work Americans sent them here to do. Democrats are waiting for you to join us in the serious work ahead. Mr. Burgess, Ranking Member McGovern, I urge my colleagues to honor their oath to the Constitution and drop this sham impeachment. Thank you, Ranking Member.